of friends and family. Carol here with a um, devotion for the week. And I've entitled it, The Spirit of Thankfulness versus what other negative thing it might be, whether you are a negative thought person, uh, whether you are into self-pity, or whether it would be, whoa, just woe is me, or entitlement mindset even. But thankfulness and choosing thankfulness. I, I had a difficult time choosing which scripture to use because so many of the Psalms talk about thankfulness. But I settled with Psalm 111. And in the little headset above mine in the Bible, it says, Great are the Lord's works. So I want to read that to you. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. In the company of the upright, in the congregation, great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in him, in them. Full of splendor and majesty is his work, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wondrous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the inheritance of the nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever to be performed with faithfulness and uprightness. He sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. To be thankful is a choice, and it's a powerful choice. And in today's society and today's events, sometimes to be focusing on thankfulness is a difficult thing to do because there's so much negative. So I want to consider that with all those life stresses, it's very important that we choose something positive, and thankfulness is a positive. It helps us be more aware of the things that we have that we should be thankful for, and perhaps situations where we've been protected from something negative. Thankfulness can draw us near to the heart of God as we reflect on his goodness, his love, and his care for us. And in being thankful, I think it's very important to look back and reflect on the goodness of God and on his faithfulness to us in times past. Those things that he's done for us, may, we may not have been aware of at the time, but choosing to look at them and realize how much thankfulness we should have for them. Let's not just be thankful at Thanksgiving. A lifestyle. Considering thankfulness as a lifestyle. Have you ever thought about that? Making yourself consciously choose to be grateful for things, be thankful for things, other than focusing on the negative things around us. When we're positive, mm -hmm. there are a lot of good uh, benefits. There's physical benefits. There's emotional benefits. There's spiritual benefits. Less stress is a very good thing for the body. We know that. We know that stress causes a lot of physical symptoms, a lot of medical diseases. We know that a positive mindset allows us to draw close to God, to listen to and hear and respond to what he's trying to say from, to us from the word, and to be attentive to those promptings from the Holy Spirit. If we are in a more positive mindset, we are much more likely to understand that when someone's name comes to us multiple times in a day, that's the prompting of the Holy Spirit to reach out to them and be a blessing to them. The mind owed to me or woe is me or I must have it or else or worse thoughts processes are paralyzing they are often offensive to others and it could be sin in light of what God says about it in the scriptures so I want us to stop just stop and think where is my heart where is your heart in view of what the Bible says about our mindset if there's unconfessed sin in my life or in your life. We need to take God at his word, confess that sin to him, accept his forgiveness, and move on and change. We need to ask him to replace it with a mindset of thankfulness in, in our heart and our spirit. 
He will do it. He will fill your heart with an ability to be thankful. Ask him. He's faithful. He's faithful. He cares about the details. He cares about the small things. And a thankful spirit is not a small thing. When we have a thankful spirit, it allows us to worship God freely. A clean heart leaves room for us to realize all the things or more of the things for which we can be grateful. And we can see God's goodness in them. I came up with a prayer that I'm going to read to you, but I want you to think about it. Oh dear God, teach us to realize all we have is from you. May we have a desire to grow and develop a thankful which honor and glorify you. May each day start and end with a conscious desire and a choice to express thankfulness, not just at Thanksgiving time, but every day to you. Grab our hearts, oh God. Hold them close. Don't let us get away from you. May it start with just one thing today that we or I am thankful for. In your son's name, amen. So, start a thankfulness jar. We've talked about that before several months ago, about a grateful jar or a thankfulness jar, where every day you take a little piece of paper and you write down one thing, even just one thing that you're thankful for, and you tuck it inside the jar, or write it on a calendar. Then when you're having a down day, Go back in that jar, go back on that calendar, and look at all the things you were thankful for. It will give you an opportunity to praise Jesus and to realize we have a lot to be thankful for. So much to be thankful for. And to see ourselves in light of God's view of us. We are crowns. We are jewels for him. We are jewels for him. We are special. See for yourself how faithful God has been to you each day when you look back on those things. So stay tight in the arms of God. Be thankful. Don't give up. Don't get discouraged and give up. I chose today the song, Give Thanks. And I hope that it helps you just remember, give thanks to God each day for at least one thing that he has given you.
Father God, thank you for your thankfulness, your faithfulness. I know you're grateful for each one of us. Help us to be grateful to you. Father God, help it to be a mindset change that we implement into our daily routines, that we consciously focus on things to be grateful and thankful for. Thank you so much for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sin. Thank you for forgiveness of sin. Thank you for second chances when we blow it, dear God. Help us to be faithful to you. Faithful and obedient. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week. Have a great Thanksgiving. See you next time. Bye-bye.